Welcome to the Hass Online Trade Server. With the Hass Online Trade Server, you can trade on 15 exchanges with over 500 trading pairs. So there's plenty of trades to be made. Today, we're going to take a look at trade bots, order bots, and the market view section where you can make live trades on the fly. Let's set up a trade bot. To set up a trade bot, you just go to the top and click New Trade Bot, and then you select which exchange. You can give it a name and select the pair that you'd like to trade with. I've already set up Coinbase, Bitcoin USD, so let's have a look at that. Click the I to go in and customize it. All right, now we're inside. So you can see there's different parts. The general settings, we've just set that up. That's where you want to trade and your name and the pair. And over here, the trade settings, that's your trade amount and if you're starting on the bot or sold side. So the bought side for Bitcoin USD would be Bitcoin and the sold side would be USD. So do you want if you only have USD, then you're going to want to start on the sold side. And if you have only Bitcoin, you're going to start on the Bitcoin side, the bought side. If you have both, well, it doesn't really matter or depending on how you want to trade it, you can start on either side. Okay, last buy, price, sell price. You don't have to enter that in manually. That'll be done by the bot automatically. You can also set it to use market orders or spread orders, which will be filled quicker, but you have the risk of slippage. So that's really up to you. Default is limit and the amount setting. So you can set a percentage. So we have bought side, sold side, 50% of each side, or you could have 1% of one side, 90% of the other, et cetera, et cetera. There's lots of ways to do that. You can use a fixed amount, so 1 Bitcoin, 10 Bitcoin, 100 Bitcoin, 0.01 Bitcoin every time. That's up to you. Or you can go all in, and that's 95% of the wallet that you're trading in. So we're trading our Bitcoin USD wallet, so it would be 95% of that. We don't do 99% or 100 because if the market moves really fast and your bot will get stuck in one of the positions, so we leave enough space. If the market moves really fast, you'll be fine. All right, let's go back. So... The main parts are the safeties, indicators, and insurances. The indicators create the buy and sell signals. To add an indicator, you press the plus button there, and you select an indicator from the drop-down menu. We've got a lot of indicators. Some are based on moving averages. Others are oscillators, candle, candles, Ichimoku clouds, MACDs, etc., etc. Okay, let's go here. So I've already got a mo moving average set up. Let's click it and customize it. Okay, so here we are. You know, you've got your settings up here, exchange and the pair. Well, that's not the exchange and the pair we're trading on. That's the exchange and pair where you want to get the signal from the moving average. So we're trading on Coinbase, but we could get the signal from Bitfinex if we want. And that's going to, you know, produce the buy and sell signals with the moving average from the Bitfinex information as opposed to the Coinbase information. That can be really useful. All right, let's set that back to Coinbase just for now. Interval, so we've got 10 minute MA, you can do a three minute or a four minute, six minute or a 12 hour MA maybe. You can decide if you wanna see standard candles or ashy candles. Um, you can also delay the signal a little bit here if you want. That depends on the indicator if that's really useful or not. You can say, I only wanna use the buy signal or only sell signal from this. I wanna reverse the signals, you can do that too. And you can make this a master indicator, which we'll get back to, to later about what that is. And of course, the perimeters, you know, we've got the standard 1226 here, but we could say, no, I don't want that. I want a 10, uh, 21, maybe it's also popular and then hit update. And then here we go. So you'll already see what would have happened. The red is a sell signal and the green is a buy signal. And you can already see how this indicator uh, reacts. Okay, so let's go back. Okay, the next part is are the insurances. So right now I have trade only trending, method one. So that's going to only allow trades if the market is trending, not if it's ranging, which is sideways. So that's pretty useful. But let's take a look at some of the other insurances. You've got avoid walls, cancel order after so many minutes, is, disable on losses, never sell cheaper, overcome fee costs, percentage change, price change, sell at double fee costs. And we've got the new ones, 
you know, only trade sideways or only trade volatile, what I was just talking about. So let's go to, you know, of course, avoid buy sell wall. So if, if the bot detects there are big walls, then it will block a trade. Cancel is pretty, cancel and disable are pretty self-explanatory. So is this one. Overcome fee costs is going to get the cost of the fees directly from the API. And if the trade is not going to overcome them, then the trade will be blocked. Percentage change, you can say the price has to change 0.5% or 1% or however many percent before there's a trade. Price change is based on price, so you could say 10 cents, a dollar, 50 cents. If the price has moved that much, then a trade can happen. And sell at double fee cost is pretty self-explanatory too. So what happens is, is the indicators say, I want to buy. Are there any insurances? Yes, there is an insurance. Does the insurance say it's okay? Yes, then the action takes place. That would go for buy or sell. If I stack my indicators, let's say I want to add a, um, let's add an RSI to the MA. And so then the MA says buy and the RSA says buy. Then it asks the insurance, is it okay to buy? If the insurance says yes, then a buy signal will take place. Same thing for a sell. MA says sell, RSI says sell, and the insurance says, okay, then action takes place. If we have buy, buy, but the insurance says, no, you shouldn't, then it's blocked. Or if just the MA says buy and the RSI says nothing or sell, then nothing takes place either. So all of them have to agree in order for an action to take place. You can think of the insurance as a filter for the indicators. Do you have to have insurances? No, we can just get rid of them. We can use no insurance if we want. That's fine. That's really up to you. Some people prefer to do it like that. They're going to probably have more trades. Um, yeah, but, you know, without a filter. So you might get killed on the sideways market or, or if you have a bunch of oscillators, you might get killed on the big volatile movements. It really just depends on how you want to do it and your risk profile and your time frame. All right, so the master indicator is something different. So it's just like the indicator. Let's put our own here. All right, and then so if the Arun says buy or sell, it does, and it's a master indicator, it doesn't matter, it doesn't have to agree with anyone. So it doesn't have to agree with these or the insurance, it just does what it wants. So that just creates a situation where you have more than one strategy within one bot, more or less. And that's just up to you if you want to do it like that or not. So it's an independent indicator is another way to look at it. All right, let's close that. Okay, in the safeties, like the master indicator, the safeties override the indicators and the insurances. That's going to be your stops or your panic buy-ins. So here I've got the dynamic one set up. So a dynamic drop loss is similar to a trailer. So we've got it set at 90. That's that's pretty high. Let's, let's go to 98. So it's going to be 2% drop and the drop loss minutes of adjustment. So it's going to be recalculated every 10 minutes. That's pretty sensitive. If I want it less sensitive, if I want to hold on to my coin, I don't want it to sell so fast, then well, I would do it like for four hours maybe. Or I could do, you know, 720 or something like that. If I want it, you know, pretty sensitive, then I could do an hour. Or I can also do off times. I can do 34 minutes, something like that. And then that's pretty tight. And the good thing is that's going to readjust with the market. So it's a trailer. And you've got the exact opposite, a trailer buy-in. So if the market explodes and you want to buy in, you've also got that. So you can kind of make a shell around your trading strategy. And the safeties are kind of the shell around it in this case with the, with the roof in um, drop-loss combination. There's also other safeties, just depends on how you want to do it. You also have um, the same thing, but you have uh, static form. So static drop loss or static roof in, you just set a price. So let's just, and you got the roof out, that's sell. So let's just take a look at that. So fixed roof out says, if the price reaches 250, sell. How much is it selling? Well, it's set a, selling the trade amount that we set over here in the trade settings. That's how much it's selling or buying right here. So that's going to override the rest. Static just means you have to set the price exactly. And that goes for the for the other static uh, drop loss, which is a stop loss. Basically, you simply just set the price. Roof in, 
it's a you know a buy-in then you know you're just going to have to set that manually fixed roof in okay so we say okay if it goes to 241 then i want to buy in i don't want to miss this so you know that can be really useful depending on your strategy again it kind of makes a area around your trading strategy that you're using with your indicators all right so those are the safeties and so we've basically covered everything you need to know about the trade bot it's just a matter of how you want to set it up there's different ways for example so i'm going to get rid of these safeties what you can do is you can some people like to use one indicator alone well that's kind of risky but if you have it on a longer time frame that could be possible could be good you know typically it's good to have at least two indicators or one indicator and an insurance as a minimum because you know if you're going to go to the doctor and something serious is going to happen then it's probably a good idea to ask two doctors well it's kind of the similar concept of having at least two things so you know you could stack your indicators i mean this is kind of a weird combination ma and a rsi but so let's take that away let's let's add ma and let's put the uh, dema there too all right, so I'm going to show you another little trick you can do. Let's see. We're going to use the buy signal from the MA. Update that. We've got a 12-hour here. And we're going to do a 12-hour DEMA too. But we're only going to use the sell signal. So we've got two indicators, but we're using one to buy to get in position, and we're using the other to get out of position. That's one way you could set it up as an example. So that can be really useful. Some people like to reverse the signals when it's a real bullish market for some of the indicators too. It just really depends on how you want to do it and your time frame. All right, and of course you can backtest. You just go to backtest trade bot and you know, 24 hours for example, and there it goes. And you know, this setup would have made no trades in 24 hours, but you know, we're using 12 hour time frame, so that can happen but you can do you know back tests of different amounts of times and you can see how things would have worked out of course that does not predict the future all right let's go back to the dashboard okay let's check out the order bot oh yeah by the way uh, then when you've activated it you just hit play and you can actually see this move when there is a buy or a sell signal so you can just watch from the dashboard and these will move in real time uh, to the left or the right depending on what's going on you've got a little log down here about what's going on um, you can pause it you can delete it and this is buyer this is force a sell right now because we're in the we've already bought so you can also just say i want to trigger a buy manually with this bot then you could do it on the fly from the dashboard okay let's check out let's let's deactivate that and now let's check out the order bot i've set that out set that up also at coinbase Okay, the order bot is a different way to do it, and it's not indicator based. It is based on conditions. So let's see here. Um, we can put an indicator on our chart to give us some kind of, um, you know, bearing about what's going on. I like the Ichimoku clouds, for example. So, you know, we can just see, hey, what is going on in the market? Let's check this out and let's maybe go to two hours for example and we say okay we've got a you've got a view here for two hours you know let's get these clouds going bands there we go we got two hour bands so we've just got an idea of what's going on you might ask well what's this green line right here well that's one of the order bots so let's click it the order bot says place a buy order or I can hit play place a sell order when the price is higher than or lower than this price and this is the amount there you go that's basically all all an order is the order bot itself however you can make it dependent on different things so dependent on a completed order of the other order i've got here or dependent on the other order not being completed so you could set up a lot of basically if then statements here and create some pretty interesting strategies and depending on um, let's see I want to sell 
when it's higher than 245. Update that. Okay, so see, it made a nice red line there on the chart for me. That's my sell. And I want to buy low. So let's say 227. I want to buy when it's lower than. And so here's my buy level. So I've, you know, I've set up a little range here. You can get an idea on the chart and that's what it's going to do. And I haven't made them dependent on any other orders, but you could, you could say, I only want to buy if I sold or et cetera, et cetera. So those are pretty interesting. And of course, to make it live, you just come here and activate it. Okay. And that's it for the order bot. It's pretty simple, straightforward, and some people prefer to trade like that. Okay, there's also another way to do stuff here. You can also go over here to the market view and you can just trade on the exchanges directly. So what you do is you come over here, um, you select your exchange. So we're going to use Coinbase. And you know, you can also, if you want to look at the chart, you can select a time frame, you know, depending on what you want to look at. Here we go. We've got the two hour going here. Um, you can also set price alarms on this page. And if you go to this symbol, that's the buy and sell symbol. So we've got 11 bucks. So let's buy some Bitcoin here. We can do a limit order or a market order. So let's do a limit order. And we want to buy, you know, just for demonstration here, we want to buy 0.2. And we want to set our order for 227 because we think it's going to wick down. So we're going to set a buy order. Yes, I want to do that. All right, well, is my order placed? Yes, of course it is. So up here, you have different symbols. This is for your wallet. And this one is for open orders. Let's click that. Uh, there is my order. So my order is on the book right now. I could say, well, I don't really like this order actually. Let's just close this. Yes, I want to cancel that order. And here I've got a little bubble. Order has been canceled. Thank you very much. So when the trades happen, you get these little bubbles. You can also turn them off. So when your when your trade bot or your order bot is trading and there, something goes through, you've got something here. All right, so that is the basics of the market view. Another cool thing is you can have the indicators over here, and you can also say, "Oh, that looks pretty cool. That's a good idea here. My buy and sells. I, I like how I like that indicator. Um, you know, you can I can adjust it here, and it's gonna so I can kind of fine tune it. See how I'm raising it and I'm seeing up here the buy and sell signals move so I can get it fine-tuned I can also do this in the bot in the indicator page but let's just say I'm here then I can also export it I'm just go to export where do I want to export it well yeah I want to export it to that bot we were just at export and there I go that indicator is in that bot right now so that's a, another cool feature that you can do and it told me hey that was done okay let's um, Let's go to the main dashboard and I want to show you a few other things. So you've got the notification center that tells you everything that's happened. So, you know, we've done a benchmark, which is a back test. Uh, order was canceled, for example. You know, all these things, every action that took place is here in the notification center, including the orders that go through. OK, let's go back. You only want to know the orders. Oh, that's cool. That's fine. Just go to order view. So here, order view, you have different things, queued order, executing orders, finished orders, et cetera, and so on. So right now we don't have any orders executing. And if we had finished orders, then we would have a list of finished orders here. Here we go. So we did have an order. It went through 0.04 and time and so on. And we've also got failed orders, um, exchange orders, et cetera. So you've got an overview there also. Okay, so that's all for today. I gave you the basic functions of the trade bot, the order bot, and the market view and showed you a few things you can do. If you have any questions, just write them in the comments and you know, come check out our webpage. It's in the description, hasonline.com. Also check out the Wikipedia that we made, wiki.hasonline.com, which explains the indicators and also what I've been talking about, the order bots and the trade bots. And feel free to ask any questions. Thanks a lot for watching.